All right. So what do you think connect the dots mean? If you make the square, you win. If you make the square, you win. Exactly. That's one reason. One adapt adaptation. What do I see in judo all the time? How many long have I been playing this game? 54, 55 years? Okay. Some of the biggest things I see people doing when they move is they leave steps out. They'll come in, they'll do a foot sweep, and they won't reposition. Now all of a sudden now they're reaching for an osoto and they get countered. Anybody ever do that? Everybody raise your hand. Okay. I'll do something, and then all of a sudden I'll turn and I'll try to do a hip throw and the guy's somewhere else. Anybody ever throw a gi off a person before? Those are fun. Anyways, what I want to do is help you connect the dots. And I've been working with a bunch of beginners lately. And everything I read about advanced judo and going to advanced judo is what? Go back to basics. And if you don't revisit basics and revisit foot positions, body positions, how you're getting somewhere, that's a lot of what you're missing. So where's my uke? Joe, there he is. Y'all know Joe? Oh, uh, by the way, my name's Bob. If you don't know me, you can call me Bob or Hey You or they call me a lot of other things. We're not going to move fast today, and for you competitors, I'll show you how to speed this up, and your body will actually work better. Also, keep in mind, don't grip harder than if you are holding a raw egg. Okay, if you break the egg, you're gripping too hard. I wish I had eggs to put in your hands, but then they'd get mad. We'd have to clean the mat and our geese. The other thing is don't move faster than your opponent. So if you're working with Danny and you're moving at this speed, don't move any faster than Danny. Okay? Or Prentice. Or me. But if you're working with Zip Zip, you may have to speed up a little bit. Or doink them on the head and say, slow down for a minute. So we want to move evenly and work together on this stuff. The first thing, what's the first basic throw we always learn? Soto. I was afraid y'all would say that. It's not Osoto. <laughs> it's Deashi. Okay? The first thing we learn to do is grip, you step forward. It's all in the books too. So when he steps forward on this foot, and this is not Carl's uh, Deashi, this is just basic. He steps forward, I'm going to catch it and sweep. And most of the time they just stand there and look at you, right? I've done it more than twice, okay? <laughs> so what I want you to do with your partner is we're going to step, and while he's stepping, notice what's happening physically to his body. Body rise, body fall. Now your partner if he's cheating on you, he's not going to go to body fall, he's going to go to body hang so he can move this foot over and step over here. That's cheating for our game. I want this foot going to body fall. So pick each foot up, okay, as you step. Now we know he's going to body fall and he's got to put his weight on there. If I'm late, I'm going to hit his foot. And if I do that too many times, he's going to look at me and say, ow, and I'm not going to play with you anymore because I'm hurting him. So don't hit hard. Use the bottom of your foot. When you hit the timing right, it works. Okay? Now, what did I do with my hands? Anybody watching? Nothing. Most people don't. They either watch the hands or the feet. All right? All I did with my hands is wait for them to touch, and I curled them to me. Just a little curl. And really, you just have to turn your hands over. If I snatch them to me, then I sit here and hold them. I fought a guy in uh, Fort Wayne, Indiana one time, Joe Vertuccio, and I was about 285, and he just grabbed me and curled me off the ground and smiled. <laughs> and I said, this is going to be a long day. <laughs> okay? But if you do that, then you stabilize the guy. But if I just pull slowly as I sweep, and I get to control his body all the way down. If you've got bad knees, bad hips, bad backs, don't fall down. Just catch it and help your partner. You don't have to fall. All right? 
Is that simple? Can we all practice that? Then you need to find a partner of your height, your ability, your friendliness, your friendship, spread out, and let's all make sure we're in a position where we're not going to throw somebody on top of somebody. All right, get busy. Holler if you have